which is very, very nice. And my sister's in this room complaining about a bug. Oh, my sister. Alright, so anyway, just use your uh, sword to slice through all this and take care of all the monsters. There's gonna be a lot of them. Uh, but it shouldn't be too hard as long as you keep using spin attacks and whatnot. And preferably hitting both of them, but whatever. Alright, these are an example of uh, ones you don't have to kill all at the same time. You can just kill them in whatever order you feel. Alright. Any more? I think they... I think that's it. Yep. Alright. And this is the boss door. Let's go on through. And now we can finally take on Zant. Alright. Let's go get him, Zant. Prepare to suck the cock of justice! Zant. Isn't this ironic? Here we all are, are, all thanks to the dark magic curse you placed on Jill. You speak of magic? Still your tongue for a moment, whelp. And I will tell you of both magic and the oppression of ages. The people of our tribe, a tribe that mastered the arts of magic, were locked away in this world like insects in a cage. In the shadows we regressed so much that we soon knew neither anger nor hatred, nor even the faintest bloom of desire. And all it was the fault of a useless, do-nothing royal family that has resigned itself to the miserable half-existence. I had served and endured in that deprived household for far too long, my impundent princess. And why, you ask? Because I believe that I would be the next to rule our people. That is why. So basically what I've got from this is, Xan is a loon! Oh, magic powers. Magic powers befitting our ruler. It was then, in the thrall of hatred and despair, that I turned my eyes to the heavens and found a god. My god has only one wish. To merge shadow and light and make darkness. And with that we begin the boss fight with Usurper King, Zant. And this is by far my favorite boss fight in Twilight Princess. 
Why? Because what his technique is, he is going to bring you to all the other boss fights, pretty much. This is the Forest Temple boss fight. So basically what you're called upon to do is to use the strategy you used for the uh, boss fight that you're currently in and use basically the dungeon item you used to beat him. So for the Forest Temple, uh, you use the Gale Boomerang, so that's what you use here, for example. And then you do a combo on Zant. Um, two combos, and then he will go on to the next stage that he uh, decides to go on. Alright, let's get ready. Oops. Alright, let's get him. Uh, 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 uh. Had enough yet? Nope, not even close, guys. This is probably the longest boss fight you will have in this game. Never mind, second longest. Alright, so for this one, uh, this is the mini boss fight in uh, Goron Mines. Basically, what's going to happen after he fires is when you want to attack him. And he's going to basically uh, sink the little thing down. You do not need your iron boots. He's, he just tilts the map, pretty much. Uh, you don't need the iron boots. You can easily just run the other way. And when he's tired, do a combo. Alright, on to the next stage. Alright. Alright. First off, you want to get your Zora armor on so you don't die without, uh, from, like, not being able to breathe. You need your iron boots and your claw shot. Throw the iron boots on and have your claw shot ready. Alright, so Zant's head is going to appear uh, out of the ground in the center here, and as soon as his tongue opens is when you want to get Zant with the claw shot. Maybe. There we go. Yeah! Karma's getting you by the balls, isn't it, Zant? By the balls! By the balls! Alright, enough of that. Let's get him! <laughs> I always love doing that, by the way. That is so funny you can do that. Alright, so after the first strike, the giant head in the center will go down, and actually multiple heads will appear all around you. So get in kind of the center here. I'd like to be, like, right here. Alright, so about four heads, or five, something like that. Five heads appear, and you want to look out for whichever one Zant fires out of. Uh, preferably get closer. Can I get him from here? No, I need to get closer. No, I have to wait another round. Wait, where do I? Where are you, buddy? Oh, there you are. Oh, come on, you can do it, Link. You can do it, Link. Dang! Alright. Which one are you going to appear out of, buddy? Ah, there you are. Alright, on a note, you probably don't want to roll because it takes too much time, so do this. So just walk around with the iron boots. By the balls! By the balls! <laughs> oh my god, I love doing that. Alright, Zant, there we go. On to the next stage. Alright, this is Ook's fight from the Forest Temple. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my hero's clothes here. Uh, same strategy, when he starts shooting, uh, hit the uh, totem pole that he's currently standing on twice to knock him off. And then do a combo. Alright. Next, he's gonna do the same thing. I really love the music here. It's In case you haven't noticed, it's a combination of all the musics you had uh, during the boss battles that you've had. And they've kind of remixed it into like the Twilight version, pretty much. I really love the music in the fight. Alright, now, what you want here, you want your ball and chain out, and that's pretty much all you want. He's gonna grow ultra huge, and this is Blizzetta's fight, if you, uh, couldn't remember. As soon as he lands, you want to use the ball and chain on his foot here, and he grows, like, super tiny. Uh, you do want to be quick, it is kind of hard to hit him while he's tiny like this, so, uh, you want to be fast, definitely. Alright, wait for him to grow big, and then do it again. God, I love this fight so much. Alright, as soon as he lands, hit his foot. Alright. Oh, come on! No, I got you. Oh, I got you! Haha! <laughs> Alright. Now that that's done, we're going to the next stage. I forget how many more we have now. 
Oh, this is actually the last stage. He's actually run out of magic, and we are pe and we appeared right in front of uh, Hyrule Castle. Actually, we're in the courtyard. So uh, now he's gonna fight you using knives, and as soon as he gets tired is when you want to strike. Just have your shield out, and uh, that's basically all there is to it. Attack him whenever you get the chance. Uh, preferably using a spin attack because it does more damage. Because uh, he disappears after one hit. Alright, when he starts doing this is when you want to have your shield up. And when he gets tired... Uh, without pushing me into there, please. Without pushing me into the force Okay, good. Yeah, getting tired? Alright, now you can do a full combo. Alright. Come on, buddy. Jerk. Gross. <laughs> God, he looks ridiculous when he does that. Alright, so keep on doing this, uh, doing spin it oh my god, he's like really close, I can't do anything. Okay, okay, okay. You wanna get all crazy on me? I'll go buck wild on you. I'll go buck wild on you. Alright, so now he's gonna start going crazy with the teleporting and stuff. Oh jeez. No! Jeez, man. Oh, come You done? Nope. He's not done. Alright, now he's gonna get tired here. Do a full combo. Or four hits, rather. Dang, man, I'm not fast enough. You and your teleporting craziness. Alright, he's gonna get tired again. Uh, let's use the ball and chain. No? No go? Alright, I thought that might work, but... It's only with the sword, apparently. Man. You are gonna die, sir. You are gonna die a horrible pain of death. I will make sure of that. You and your teleporting antics. Alright, he's gonna get tired here. And that is it. That is the Zant fight.